By killing the giant Goliath, David became a hero. God's people loved him. But King Saul became jealous of David. King Saul had a son named Jonathan, who was a prince of Israel and David's best friend. King Saul told Jonathan and all his servants to kill David. So Jonathan decided to warn his friend. My father is looking for a chance to kill you, but I have a plan. Tomorrow morning, you hide behind that big rock. I'll come out with my bow and pretend to shoot at a target. Then I'll send a boy to find the arrows. If I say to him, no, you've gone too far, the arrows are closer to me, that means you are safe. But if I say, go farther, the arrows went past the big rock, that means my father won't change his mind and you are in danger. So David hid behind the rock. Saul and Jonathan were nearby. The king was very angry with his son. Jonathan, don't you know that as long as David is alive, you'll never be king? He must die! But father, David has done nothing wrong. Then Saul threw his spear at Jonathan, trying to kill his own son. So Jonathan and his servant ran away toward the big rock. Jonathan said to the boy, Run and find this arrow. When the boy ran toward the rock, Jonathan shot the arrow way beyond the rock and called out, Go further. The arrows went past you. So David knew the news was bad. When the boy left, David came out and hugged his dear friend. Even though they were grown men, they were both crying. But David cried the most. David, my friend, go in peace. We have been promised by the Lord that you and I and all our descendants will be friends forever. Years later, Jonathan and his father died in a battle against Israel's enemy and David became king. Because of his great friendship with Jonathan, King David took care of Jonathan's crippled son Mephibosheth for the rest of his life.